Hello guys, my name is Kylie Bologna. Welcome if you are new with us and welcome back if you have been here before. Nine times out of 10 guys, if I am in the car, things are happening. Tonight, we are driving to Jersey. It is currently 10 p.m. and uh, we're getting there at 2 a.m. So I'm really excited. I did just wanna start the video here while I have some light, but I am gonna go get on the highway and I'll see you guys when we are on the highway. I'm super excited. I am going to stay at a hotel for the night and then in the morning we are gonna go to Jersey. Six Flags together, Six Flags Great Escape, Six Flags Great Adventure. So I'm thinking that'll be a separate video and then this is just like a drive along with me. But I will see you guys on the highway. We just had P stop number one. We haven't even made it to the highway yet. I've been driving for 20 minutes. I am literally two minutes from the highway, which is crazy already. Um, I do already have road trip snacks. I have these baked lays in like the regular original flavor. These are my favorite. And then I also have a chocolate bar. This is, this is the first time I've ever had this. This is the Cadbury Dairy Milk in Road, Rock the Road. So I'm really excited, it has marshmallow and nuts. And then I also have like a little packet of gummy bears and my water bottle. This is gonna be the first pee stop of many. And you know, I'm, I'm excited about that. That's very exciting to me. Um, this is a four hour drive. And last time I filmed a drive to Jersey with me, it was a 45 minute long video. So I'm gonna not try to do it that long this year, but I do think it's really funny to watch 45 minutes of me driving because uh, as you guys know, I'm not the best driver, but I like to have fun and I like to go on adventures. That's kind of like my whole thing. It's my shtick, if you will. I prefer the word bit, but it is my shtick. <sighs> my biggest concern uh, in filming tonight is that it is just really dark out so I'm so sorry about the lighting and everything like that. Um, I'm hoping when I get on like Jersey highways, they're gonna be a little bit more lit. So that's kind of like my hope. New York doesn't really have a ton of like lit up highways, but Jersey just has a lot more like traffic and they have a lot more of, um, they have a lot more like side stuff and it's all like big and it's like huge. But for right now, with this lighting, I am going to just drive for a little bit. Definitely should not be driving with the light on, but I am for this very moment for you guys. Um, I don't know if I said it already, but we are in New York State, and we are officially an hour deep in this drive. I love night driving. I Here's my problem. is I'm not the best at seeing at night. Like, unfortunately, my eyes are not great the jeans did not do me well in that department but i love night driving because it's just it's so much more casual and there's never as many people on the road and i just also like ugh, i love to get somewhere at 2 a.m sleep for like five hours there and then like get up and go and that's a big reason why i'm driving down tonight it's a lot easier to just sleep there at a hotel and then wake up and go to Six Flags while I'm already in Jersey, then waking up at like 4 a.m., driving down to Jersey, hitting traffic in the daytime, and then getting to the park. There's nothing wrong with that. I just feel like I'm always a lot more tired when I have to wake up earlier like that compared to like when I go to bed later. I just, I love to sleep, I really do. It's a, it's a big important thing for me. Um, the older I get too, the more I'm like, wow, I like truly need sleep. But yeah, we're in New York. I'm on this road for a hundred miles. So it's really just smooth sailing for us. I love this drive. This is one of my favorite drives. I do this once a year. This year I'd like to come down at least two more times. I think making it three this year would be really fun. Um, I also really want to hit Six Flags Great Escape like I always do. <laughs> oh, that was, that came up quick. I was not expecting that. I love the service stops out here in New York because they're so fucking fancy. I must just hit that curb. Um, I don't know if you guys saw last year's video of me driving to Jersey, but last year I accidentally drove into a bus terminal, into the bus terminal, like where the buses go. 
It was crazy. I don't remember where I was going with what I was saying, but the six, oh yeah, the six flags is I want to hit this year are my normal three, which is around me, Great Adventure, which is where we're going tomorrow, Great Escape, which is in New York, a lot farther than where we are currently, and New England is my home park. But this year, I really want to go to Darien Lake, which is about five hours deep in New York from me. It's around Buffalo. And then I also really want to get a passport and hit Six Flags in Montreal. I think that would be incredible. For those of you who don't know, I've never been to Canada. I've never been outside of the country. So I think that would be really exciting. Also, I'd like to take the opportunity to go to like Niagara Falls then. But yeah, this, look. Hold on, I'm gonna take my camera off the tripod. Look at this service center. Look at how bougie that is. We don't, we don't got nothing that bougie in Massachusetts, nothing. It's all like dirty and like, which I'm used to, you know? But I am gonna go pee and then we will get back on the road. I did not bring my phone in there, which obviously rookie mistake because that place was so fancy. I'm gonna bring you inside the next one. Cause that fancy. Like, I knew they were fancy, but sometimes you come back after a while, and you're like, wow, this place is fancy, fancy. We are gonna get back on the highway. Um, we officially have two, on, two hours and 58 minutes. The first official yawn has happened, and honestly, makes me nervous. Valid, right? Um, I'm also listening to this playlist on Spotify. I'm such a sucker, I don't make playlists, but I do like to search for playlists. I'm listening to this playlist called um, Ultimate Road Trip Playlist, and it's honestly really good. There are some songs on here that I have no idea what they are, and honestly, some of them are really banging. So, I'm having a great time. We officially have two hours and 30 minutes, which is very exciting. We're like officially a little bit more than halfway there, if not almost like right on the dot in the middle. So that's so I'm so excited. This is honestly going so smooth so far. Um, I am still going straight for like 65 more miles. So nice and nice and chill, nice and easy. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm also very ready to like get in my hotel room. Don't worry, I am going to show you the hotel room. We're gonna get in the hotel, we're gonna do our skincare, we're gonna get ready for bed, and then uh, we're gonna sleep. Can't wait for that part. Oh, I'm just I'm just loving this drive, honestly. We're in like a bit of a construction patch right now. So everybody's working. Everybody's doing the digs. Um, I do have to pee really bad though, and I haven't seen a rest stop yet in a while. So I'm not nervous because I think there will be one in the next like 10 to 15 miles so it's nothing like crazy I'm like I have to pee and I kind of want to rest my eyes because something about just staring at like darkness and lines is is kind of exhausting it's almost like I just manifested it I was like I need a service area and then boom here one is Oh, this is the last one on the thruway, which is what I'm currently on, like the New York New York thruway, 87, I believe, south. But I might be a liar, so don't trust my directional uh, approach on anything. I'm very excited to like go in and just like pee and chill. This one doesn't look as fancy, so uh, I'll still bring you inside. But this one is not as fancy as the last one, and I know there's some in Jersey that are even fancier. I like the ones that have Chick-fil-A. Ugh, I love Chick-fil-A. I just want to say I think it's so funny that that is the rest area I chose to film at first because I forgot this is the dingiest one on my trip so I thought that was really funny so enjoy that um, I believe it used to be a McDonald's back in the day 
is what that whole center area was. But I think that they just didn't make enough money, so they left, which is actually really interesting. But I might be a liar because I know that New York, at, uh, at most out of the... <laughs> that might be a lie because I know most of New York's rest stops are actually like sponsored by Burger King over McDonald's like Massachusetts. So who knows? Just It's just a theory. Um, but me and Courtney are going to talk on the phone for a little bit. And I officially have two hours left. Two hours. That's it. So, really exciting. But I'm going to chat with my sister. And I'll see you soon. Okay, guys. We are officially in the state of Jersey, which is so exciting. Um, I'm pretty positive that we are on the New York Jersey Turnpike. So, very exciting. I'm so excited. This is honestly, I think I've said this already. But this is one of my favorite drives. I just think it's so relaxing and fun. <sighs> Although doing this at night is so much different. I feel like in the daytime, there's so much scenery to look at. And like there's so much to look at. Where at night, it's just kind of like all darkness. Especially on like the New York throughway. Like now that I'm in Jersey, it's just a lot more lively. Especially in comparison to how it was. But... It's just, it's so interesting. And that's the thing I like about different states too, is they're so different. Like now I'm in Jersey, so if I need gas, I cannot pump my own gas. It's illegal. And little small tip about me, I hate to have other people pump my gas. I hate it. I will avoid it at all costs, but I know that I probably have to get gas before I go all the way home. But, ugh, it's just such a, it's such a thing for me. I hate to let people pump my gas. We officially have an hour and a half left. We are literally almost there. We're on the home stretch. I'm so sorry if my camera was shaking the whole time. Um, I'm obviously on a very bumpy part of this road. Um, but yeah, I'm going to continue driving so I don't have to hold the camera. And uh, I can't wait to see you soon. I can't wait to be there. I am so ready. I feel really bad because you guys can't see it right now, but I'm on the part of Jersey that's like, I can see New York right there. And the view is just breathtaking. At least I'd like to think it's New York. Um, who knows, really? My geographical location is not the best. But I know that I did just take an exit that was like to New York City. And I know that Jersey's across the water from New York. So I'd like to think I'm kind of right. Oh, a Goodwill outlet. Oh, the thrifts like in uh, New York and Jersey for Goodwill are supposed to be so good. Oh, I'm having so much fun, honestly. Like this drive has been very chill. Like there's nothing like super eventful happening. But like I like the chillness right now. I feel like I actually really need it. It's like very, it's relaxing for me to go on those nowhere drives. They're actually my favorite. And like today, I'm trying to show the view. I'm trying to show the view, but I'm also trying not to die. So I'm sorry. But the view is great. <laughs> um, like this is a very nowhere drive for me. Even though I am going somewhere, like I'm actually going somewhere very important, but uh, it's just chill to like have fun and enjoy it. Honestly, one of my favorite things about this drive, especially during the day, is that there's the, an airport like really close. So all the airplanes just go like right overhead and it's so pretty. Uh, I'm taking this exit here, but there's like parts of the city right here that is just absolutely gorgeous. I really like, like that's the thing is like when I'm where I live, it's very like country. So like I get to see the stars a lot. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, man. But when I'm like out in the city, the city lights are like my favorite thing ever. I really hope you guys can see it because you deserve to see it. It's gorgeous. Oh, there's a service area. Okay. Um, if my memory serves me correct, 
this is the service area I took last time where I got like trapped in that bus terminal. So um, I guess we'll see exiting this one. I also know that this one is fancy as fuck. I always have to run to the bathroom. And honestly, I guess I'd rather have to pee all the time than like anything else. You know? Like there are way worse things. I'd rather have a small bladder. <laughs> yeah, and this is literally the exact one that I got fucking, st I got stuck in a bus terminal, literally. Literally. I honestly wish I was being dramatic. I wish I was. There's video evidence of me getting stuck in a bus terminal and then I was backing up and I think I had a fence. Like it was crazy last year. But uh, this bathroom is also so fancy. But uh, I'll film inside for you guys. I was trying to show you guys just those lights. Oh, this restaurant is so fancy. It is so nice in there. I really don't know what I filmed. There were so many people in this one that I was like, ah, but I'm gonna do a so good at Six Flags tomorrow. I'm gonna film so much and we're gonna be so productive and so not scared. <sighs> but in terms of my chocolate bar, the Cadbury one, I'm gonna give this a three out of five stars. This was pretty good. Definitely not my favorite, but not bad at all. Also, where I am in Jersey is so dirty right now. For those of you who don't know, Jersey is the Garden State, but its nickname is the Trash State because all the trash from New York City just comes right to Jersey, which is kind of so sad. So sad, honestly. We are going to get back on the highway. No problems this time. No problems at all. It's going to be so easy. And then from there, we're just gonna get right back on the turnpike. And then we will be there in one hour and 11 minutes. Which is basically no time at all. So I've been driving for hours. It's crazy that I've already been driving for like three and a half hours and it hasn't felt like any time at all. Like that's great. 95 Interstate, Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm keeping this as video proof at this point. I need to prove that like, I can figure this out. Bare minimum, I can figure this out. Service area is taking me back to where I was. Okay, I said I did last time. I wanna go this way. To 95 North. Okay. Okay, look at me go. So last time I went into right here, where is this parking ride for 95 South? And that's what messed me up. I'm actually a big liar because I messed it up again. It's having me go back through the service area. Oh God. The service area is so convenient though. Like when I'm like, I need to pee. Cause it's just, it's right there. And I'm pretty sure this is the one of the last ones before I like get off. So for South, I'm gonna keep left. Oh. oh. That was so easy. That was so easy. Okay. So easy. I got that. Easy pie. Easy pie. Look at baby, we're back on the turnpike. Look at us go. Guys, I am so proud of us right now. I am so proud of that. That no fails. No fails. Wow. I'm really, really impressed. Guys, guess what's coming up? It's the Mall of America. I'm actually such a liar. It's the American Dream Mall, which is so cool. Um, if you guys didn't see my vlog last time, I did come down to Jersey 
and on the way home I stopped at this mall and I went to my first ever Morphe store before they all closed. This mall has like a giant Ferris wheel. One of my outside managers at work was telling me that I have to go on the coaster inside of this mall and I thought you just had to like pay for it all like um, kind of like just going to an amusement park and she was like you pay for it like it's a, a carnival like you buy one specific ride so we might depending stop on the way home and ride that guy but we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens we'll see what happens we have officially made our first mistake <laughs> um, I did just take the wrong exit and um, it, I thought it added like an hour to the trip and it did not I'm just being dramatic um, but now we're not getting there until 2.52. And maybe that's because of all the stops I made. Because now it's officially one hour until we get there. But, um, man, am I sleepy. And now I'm staying on this one road for 51 miles. So, kind of daunting. But there's lots of pretty lights to look at. So, um, I think I'll be very entertained. And I cannot wait to get home to the hotel. It's gonna be the best part. Guys, we are officially here. We're officially in the hotel. <sighs> I feel so good just being in a space. Is it the best space? No. For those of you who don't know, I am pretty cheap when it comes to like sleeping in a place, especially considering it's 3 a.m. and I'm gonna wake up at like nine anyways and leave. So I don't like to spend boatloads of money on like a nice space, which is like sometimes a give and take for me. But uh, let's let's get a hotel tour. I'm not gonna go outside because it is kind of scary. But I did stay in this hotel last year, and uh, my room last year I personally liked better. But uh, this is what it is. What it is. We get what we pay for. So you walk into this space, and there is a chair, which um, I'm scared of. Um, I am an AC girlina, so I am going to turn that back on after. Then I have a king-size bed, which is ginormous. It's huge. Um, this disgustingly dirty mirror. So, yay. Um, which, yay, it looks directly at that chair. Um, there's a TV, mini fridge, and a microwave, which I will be using none of those. There's a desk, which I always like. Not that I would sit in this chair in particular, but I like to put all my stuff on like a hard surface. It's a big thing for me. This mirror I really like. Um, could you guys imagine if I had this lighting all the time, all the time? Could you guys imagine? And I set up all my little skincare and like my makeup station. So yay. And then our bathroom. This is also like a little closet, but I won't be touching that. I threw like a towel there. Because uh, there was a bug on the mirror that I killed. But it was like a little fly. So I was like, this is this is fine. It's like I can handle that. This is the bathroom. Another huge mirror with great lighting. And then a little toilet. And then the grossest uh, motel tub you've ever seen. It's actually not one of the grossest I've seen, but... Last year, I had a bathroom that I was like, I need to shower in the shower. And it was really nice, actually. I, I'm i honestly beyond excited to just do my skincare and go to bed. Like I said, I'm probably going to be up at 9 a.m. Because tomorrow, we are going to Six Flags Great Adventure. So this is it for today's video. If you guys liked the traveling here, I'm so happy that you came and watched. Please leave a like. And if you guys want to see me enjoy amusement stuff park tomorrow please stay tuned for tomorrow's video which will be me at six flags for the day but no matter which kind of content you like whether you like me at the park or just me on a random adventure um i try to adapt to the best of both worlds because that's what i really like to see and i'm really starting and trying to create content that i really like and things that i really want to see because i think you guys are kind of similar to me you know but I love you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Guys, I take it back. There's the biggest 
fucking bug I've ever seen. I've ever seen. Ever. Look at that thing. I'm leaving right now. Um, I, I'm definitely including that last clip. Um, I found a fucking huge ass cockroach in that room. And then I asked for another room. Really what I wanted was a refund and I didn't ask for that. So I asked for another room. And th this room is way worse. Way worse. Hey, look at the bathroom door. Right? Gross. And it smells like sewage in here. Oh, you know, and the desk. Oh, you know what really gets me? Look at that. Look at the sheets. I'm not, I can't. Look at that. And honestly, honestly, it makes me kind of sad because I stayed here before. And I was like, this isn't a bad place for the price. And now I'm like, you know what? I don't, this isn't good. Also, I feel really, I feel kind of bad. Cause I think the guy who's like the attendant guy is the general manager. And I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? I'm like, I just, ah, I can't sleep here. <laughs> and that makes me feel like such, such a baby. But you know what, maybe it's taught me that I either need to invest, invest in like car sleeping stuff that might be really nice or invest in nicer hotels. Cause at this point I could have paid, I paid $150 for this room. $150 for this room. At this point I could have paid uh, 50 more and stayed at like a Hampton, you know, at that point. But I think I want to invest in stuff to sleep in my car. Um, I'm not staying here. So I'm gonna brainstorm for a little bit and um, I'll keep you guys updated. Honestly, I just want to take a second to say that I am so proud of myself. I went in there and I said, man, I can't stay here. I said, your sheets are fucking nasty. And I showed him the picture. And I said, I can't stay here. I said, I, I want you to refund me. And he did, you know? And I'm really proud that I stuck up for myself because this is the first time I've ever had to do that and I was very nervous. And I'm really proud of that, because I got a full refund, no no questions asked, no problem. And uh, now I'm gonna go find a good parking lot to sleep in. And the thing about Jersey, and like New York as a whole, not the Jersey, is New York, but the two states, they have a lot of loves, which are like these 24 hour truck stops, which is really awesome, because now, that's where we're gonna go sleep. It's 15 minutes away is the closest one. So we are gonna head there, and I will see you guys there. Um, I'm here, I bought a water, I went to the bathroom, and uh, I'm gonna sleep here for tonight. This spot isn't as secluded as I would like it to, but this Love's parking lot is really small, where the one around where I live is really big, so we're taking what we got. I also don't have a blanket, so good thing I brought a little Gouda, one of my favorite Squishmallows, because this will at least be my pillow. <laughs> I love you guys so much um, and I will genuinely actually see you tomorrow this time um, if you liked my wild shenanigans that I want you to know so bad that aren't planned um, leave a thumbs up <laughs> um, maybe it'll help me buy a nicer hotel next time I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow bye